Hey guys, sorry for the delay today. Um, there's a, there was a bit of a personal delay, um, but I'm here now. Um, I hope you guys are doing well in the deep freeze in Toronto. We're having a deep freeze. Other places are having snow up their wazoo. Um, I know the church I usually go to online. They're 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 not having in person services today. They're um, strictly telling everybody to go online because uh, they have they had a snow, snowstorm. So I hope you're keeping warm and I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world today. Let's pray. Father, I praise you and I worship you with whatever you are doing in our lives today. Lord God, I just pray that your presence dwell here like never, be, like never before and I pray that you uh, just be with me as I bring forth your word. Speak to me, speak through me, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, hi guys. Um, my sermon title today is Living Inside Better. I was having a conversation the other day with someone and she said, um, do you think, do you think, things will ever get better and I, and I said um I don't know and then uh referring to the pandemic and all of that and I said I don't know it's in God's hands um and as I sit sat back and thought thought about our conversation um the the Lord um, ministered to me. He said, "It may be in my hands, but it, but it is, but it all start better. All starts with your thoughts." And I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "Better is a matter of perspective." Um. And I said, okay, what do you mean? He said, one person's better can be another person's awful. Like, you could have a person in a, in a ratty apartment with cockroaches and bed bugs and all of that living in that squalor, and then you could have a street person that has no home, so which one's better? Um, so I, I say, oh, the ratty apartment, because at least it's a place to, to live. And he said, and he said yes. And you, you could have a person going through cancer, or a person going through COVID which one's better? Uh, I said, I don't know, they're both pretty awful. <laughs> and he said, better, he said, Rachel, better is a matter of perspective. He said, he said, what I want people to do is change their perspective on which one was better and don't look forward to when it's going to get better he said i want people to live inside better which means every day think of it as this is better than yesterday although things will be fall could be falling apart because when you think it, eventually it will turn around 
and he said sometimes, he said, when you think a situation will get quote unquote better, um, and you're constantly waiting for better, 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 you're missing the the now because every moment is in the now. So you're constantly waiting, oh, this is going to get better, this is going to get better. You're not living inside better. You're not, you're not looking at the situation as, as, um, this is better. He said, I want you to live every day inside that this is better. He said, I don't want you to be waiting for better. I want you to understand that better is where you are now. You don't have to wait for better. You, he said, I want you to live every day and find something better about that day than it was yesterday. And he said, challenges will happen Disasters will happen, but I need you to, to always look for the better inside of it. Don't live waiting for better. He said, live as if every day is better. And eventually, you'll start to change your perspective and, and you'll start to live with a more positive attitude. This is not about name it and claim it, blab it and grab it. I've lived this, where you have to just um, say that not things will get better, but I'm living better right now. I'm living better right now. When I got diagnosed with diabetes, at the age of 35, I went in for a, for a doctor's appointment, and I, um, and they, they diagnosed me with diabetes. But when I did, when I, when I went through that whole thing, I was so devastated. Um, because here I am, 35 years old, and diagnosed with diabetes and um it was it was devastating for me and so i cleaned out all my all the starchy stuff and sugary stuff and i the doctor put me on medication and um you know i cleaned out my fridge um, of all the stuff I used to eat because I couldn't eat that stuff anymore. And, um, so I, in fact, I remember two situations. I remember, um, first situation, one of the ladies that works with me, um, I remember her opening my fridge and going, Oh my gosh, this, Rachel, it's so, you have so many vegetables in here, and you have so many uh, good stuff in here, you don't eat all of this, it's, it's like, yes, but I'm trying to eat better and whatever, so as I went on, like, I wish I could show you what I used to eat, you know, before diabetes, I used to eat like, like a regular person and whatever, and then after diabetes, I wish I could so show you the drastic change, like, I would barely eat anything, like, I would, um, eat like maybe some vegetables or some a little carbs and whatever and I'll tell you this a, a lot of people would look at that time and say oh my god Rachel you're losing weight it's just so wonderful 
it's wonderful how your sugars went down. Because at that time, when I started to eat like that, my sugars went down. Everything was was great. But inside, oh my god, I was, I was so depressed. And so, I went to bed often. And I was not hungry, but I wasn't full. I had dietitians, and I tried to follow their diet, but this was just killing me. And so, as I, as I went on, like, because... You would have thought, oh, she's losing weight, her sugar are coming down. This is better. This is so much better for her. Good for her. And if you would have seen me at that time, people would have said, oh, my God, Rachel, you're losing weight. It's so awesome. Your sugar are coming down. You're doing so well. But they didn't know that I was practically crying every night because I couldn't eat what I used to when I was struggling to grasp this whole thing and uh, like barely eating what I wanted to eat. I remember one time being in the grocery store and just walking around the chip aisle and just crying because I couldn't eat that stuff anymore and like depriving of myself of what I really wanted and whatever and then I and then I just came to the realization that Rachel you don't have to cut out everything you love you just eat it in moderation and you 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 t- turn turn as much of the white stuff as you can to brown stuff. And that's what I did. And I slow, as I slowly got more into it, I slowly began to actually find my feet and slowly begin to really get better and, fe- and feel better inside because I began to to balance it out and really not go too much the junky way or or too much the healthy way that I felt like I was starving myself. So I'm in a better place now because I'm not total. I'm not totally depriving myself of what I what I want to eat, but I'm not totally, like, eating all the sugar stuff. So, I'm in a better place now because I can balance it. Because, so you would think the diabetic um, thing and losing weight, I felt better, but inside I didn't. Inside I was depressed and, you know, Whatever, my medical results were good, but emotionally, I was really struggling. And um, so, so that that's why my perspective on better has changed. I'm not as uh, thin as I used to be, but I'm feeling better both physically and emotionally than I did before, although I may have gained a little bit of the weight back, um, I'm, I'm feeling um, better than I used to be, so that's what, I'm, what I mean. Better is a matter of perspective, um, because Anybody seeing me at the time would say, oh, she's doing better. But I wasn't, I was doing physically better, but emotionally I was starving and struggling and all that. And the Lord saying, change your perspective of better.
he's he's saying he's saying don't wait for better live in better like every day is better i'm in better right now i don't have to wait for better i have to live in better live like every day is a lesson and better will teach you lessons the like because all of that that i went through with diabetes taught me lessons not just about eating or it or anything like that but it taught me lessons about myself that are invaluable to me so when we are living in better it can teach us lessons or when we are intentional intentional about every day living in better not waiting for better but but knowing every day that you live there is you're in better right now then your perspective changes and then when you when your perspective changes your mind your mind changes and then when your mind changes your circumstance change and when your circumstance change, your life changes. So better is not a thing to be wait to be waiting on or whatever. Better is a frame of mind that you live in every day. And the Lord says, I want my children to live in better. I want my children to understand that better is not a place that you wait for it's a place that you live in he wants his children to thrive and live in better and and um better first start with the mind and perspective he he, he says um jesus um the bible said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus so i'm i always think of what was jesus like how did he think i'm not talking about the god part of jesus and all that i'm talking about the human being and when i when i look at the thoughts of jesus as a person he was a very positive person he always lived in better when he was dying on the cross he said father forgive them for they know not what they do even though he was dying he was in tremendous pain they had beat him like all day and all night and they had his hands stretched and he was buck naked and had a thorn of crowns on his I had a crown of thorns on his head and nails in his feet. He still managed to have a better perspective of forgiveness of the people who wronged him. It it was and that's the ultimate um, lesson of living in better. He wasn't waiting for better. He was living in better. And I wouldn't be like that. I don't want to wait for better. I want to live every day as in like it's, it's better. It's better. It's better. And then... Uh, when I keep saying it and and thinking it and adjusting my thoughts to what's better, I will eventually see it. I have to see it in my in my mind before I can. Ex- I have to see it in my spirit spirit experience in my it in my mind before I can. I 
before I can experience it in reality, better first starts in your spirit. See it in your spirit. And then and then slowly as you begin to see it in your spirit, it'll it'll come out of you. Because what's in you will come out of you. Eventually, you could hide it for only so long, but what's in you will come out of you. And that's what um, the Lord wants me to say today. So thank you guys so much for hanging with me. Sorry that I was a bit late this morning. Um, I had some personal uh, complications. But... that that's okay so i'll see i'll see you to i'll see you uh later guys thank you so much bye Remember, better is not something you get to. Better is something you live in. And the Lord wants you to know that living in better is what he wants for you. And is what he has planned for you. And the first step to living in better, like I said before, is to change your heart and your mind. Too many of you have been living in mental squalor to say, I can't do this because of this, or I can't do that because of that. He, he's like, raise up your thoughts to, to the level of God's thoughts as much as you can. I know the Bible says, your thought, his thoughts are not our thoughts, but ask the Lord for his mind for your life. And everybody's living in better is different. So ask the Lord for his, his way of living in better in your life. For some people, living in better is spending more time with family. For some people... Living in better is getting a be getting a stronger prayer life. Um, for some people, living in better is stop being afraid to go for that job. For some people, living in better is to is to spend more time with your kids. Like everybody's better is different, and how. Living better is how I define living in better is con a consistent a consistent living in God's purpose for your life. So, God's as long as you are living in God's purpose for your life, you are living in better, and I. I don't think God's purpose for your life is something you get to. It's something you live in. And it has different kind of manifestation manifestations. I think um, God has purposed you to be where you are right now. God has purposed you... Um, to live in better and remember I said better is a place that you're living in right now and it has different facets but it's really where you are right now it's on that job it's with those kids it's 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 living in that apartment 
Um, and it has different manifestations throughout your life. And I'm not saying you shouldn't go for more, you shouldn't want more. Um, but don't let that be your barometer. Like, don't let that be your measuring stick. Let that be a goal that God has put in your heart. See, my goal that God has put in my heart is to uh, start a, um, a, first of all, it is to pastor one day and to start a movie and television production company where I can produce films of all kinds, um, Christian and non-Christian, and change the way people view movies and films and, and sometimes even books. So I should say an entertainment company. So that's the goal. But uh, I am right now in my apartment living in better. Knowing that when I wake up every day, it's better than the day before. And so I'm praying that the more I think like this is the more it is the more that one day I will have what I say. And I'm not perfect at this, but one day I know that God will 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 make it so I can so I can pastor that church I want to pastor. So I can I can run that company the way I want to. Um, and I know one day he will. So, but for right now, I am endeavoring to think that I am living in better. And then as I do that, I will... I will feel the manifestations of it one day, of all my labor, of all the times uh, uh, people have rejected me, of all the time, whatever. All of that is going towards God's ultimate, ultimate goal for my life. And what he's purposed me to do is what I'm doing right now. So guys, thank you so much for hanging with me and being with me. I really appreciate it. Bye guys. See you later. Um, God gave me this song, um, he gave me this song, and I'm going to sing it on my way out, it said, he said, it will get better, better, it will get better, better, it will get better. Better, it will get better. Bum, 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 better, it will get better. Better, it will get better. Bum, 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 better. And if you, if you're living in better. That means if you're waiting for the sun to, to shine and you're living in better, that means the sun is always shining. Because remember I said better means a change of perspective 
and it doesn't mean that you won't have challenges. It means your perspective changes, and you take the lessons from those challenges to, cr to cause you to grow and change um, over time. And I'm not saying that living in debt better is like a Pollyanna thing where you tiptoe through the tulips. It's a change of perspective so that you know that you are living in better, that you're not waiting for better, that, you, that better is here now, that you don't have to wait for it. It's a state that you live in. So thank you guys for... All that, and remember, it will get better, better, just living better, better, just living better, better, just living better, better. And, and when you, when you live in better, your, it will eventually, your circumstances will eventually line up with how you're living in your spirit, how you're living in your mind, how you're living in your soul, how you're living in your emotions. So guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It will get better, better, just living better, better.